you know what, Small? I think something really exciting is going to happen today. What's even more exciting than usual, Ben? Yes, really special. <coughs> oh, hang on. What's this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, hey, Small! Oh, oh. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. Somebody's just left a letter out by the back door. Oh, oh, small! Just as I suspected, something extra fabo dabo exciting is happening. Oh, how exciting! Hello, everyone. Is it from you? Huh? So who's it from? Oh. <laughs> Small! I don't believe this! Oh, this is brilliant! Who's it from, Ben? Oh, oh, Small! It's from Old King Cole. It's an invitation to his party! Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. Ooh -hoo. It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, please come to my party at the palace. The palace? Whoa! Please think of a game that we can all play from Old King Cole. Brilliant! I can't wait for the party! <laughs> but what sort of game can we take? Hmm. Oh, we could take throw the custard tart. We could make <laughs> lots of custard tarts and then wee splat! <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea to throw custard tarts at Old King Cole. What if he gets sticky blobs on his royal robes? That would never do! <laughs> hmm. Well, if we can't play throw the custard tart, we... Oh, we could play Pass the Parcel. But we don't have enough time to make the parcel, Ben. Hmm, you're right. No, we don't. <coughs> Come on, Small. We'll have to think about this later. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way. Woohoo! Who's in the cafe today, Small? Well, it's someone who's big and hairy. <laughs> big and hairy? Hmm. You'll have to give us another clue, Small. She's big and strong, and her ears are long. So she's big and hairy and strong, and her ears are long. Hmm. And here's one more clue. She says, ee -aw, ee -aw. <laughs> Oh, I know, I know. It's Daphne the donkey. You're right, Ben. I wonder what a donkey would like to eat. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I decided to go to the seaside. It was a lovely day and there were donkeys on the beach giving children rides. They were having great fun. Then I spotted a very sad looking donkey. She was staring into a shop window. The shop was selling colourful rock candy floss and boiled sweets. The donkey told me her name was Daphne and she just loved looking at all the colourful sweets in the shop. Oh, they looked so inviting, so pretty and shiny, she said. But Daphne was a clever little donkey. She knew that the sweets would be bad for her teeth, so all she could do was stare at the lovely colours. Then I had an idea. I took Daphne along the street to another shop window, a shop that sold fruit and vegetables. Oh, how pretty, said Daphne. All those lovely shapes and colours. I went into the shop and bought some vegetables. First, I gave Daphne a stick of celery. It's so munchy and crunchy and green, exclaimed Daphne. Munch, 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 munch. Next, I gave Daphne a red pepper. I love the colour red, and it's so shiny. She gobbled it up, licking her lips. Finally, I handed her a long, juicy carrot. Scrummy, yumptious, so pretty and orange. Eeyaw, eeyaw, Daphne. That was my favourite. I didn't know about this shop with the lovely, colourful vegetables in the window, and they're really good for my big teeth. 
I knew something else that would be good for her teeth. A toothbrush. She could keep her teeth extra healthy by brushing them after every meal. To say thank you, Daphne took me for a donkey ride on the beach. It was brilliant! Woohoo! Little Cook to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure! So Daphne the donkey discovered the yumminess of vegetables thanks to you, Little Cook! Way! And now she's eating lots of vegetables. Her teeth are staying nice and healthy too. But we still don't know what to cook for her. Hmm. Oh! <sighs> I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there! And where do we look for things to cook? In the book! In the book! In Big Cook's Book! Hey, look at this! It's perfect! Munchy Crunchy Carrot! A donkey's dream! Come on then, little cook! You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need onion. Onion over here. In there. Yep, got the onion. Carrot. Here we go as well. Carrot. Donkeys love carrots. Celery. Celery in the fridge. There we go. Nice and green. Got the celery. Water. Oh, we can get that from the tap later. Vegetable stock cubes. Oh, that should be over in the cupboard. Here we go. Got those small. Olive oil. In the cupboard as well. Yep. And rice. Rice, rice. Oh, here we go. Basmati rice. Right. Everything we need for the recipe. Small. I've always wondered where basmati rice comes from. So have I. Well, why don't you whiz off and find out and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. See you later. <laughs> hey, why don't you come along too? Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. I'm in India! These are fields where pure basmati rice is grown. These are the nursery fields. The man is planting rice seeds. When the seeds grow, the stalks are moved to water-flooded paddy fields. The plant is ready to pick. Once picked, the plant is banged against metal drums. This gets the rice out of the stalks. The rice is then loaded onto carts and taken to be sold. This man is checking the rice grain by rubbing it in the palm of his hand. The rice will be dried and then packed to be sent to the shops. I'd better get back to the cafe. I was wondering if old King Cole might want to play Keep the Balloon Up in the Air. Way! I'm back! And I found out all about Basmati rice. It grows in water-flooded fields. Oh, well, I never knew that. Ben, what are you doing with that balloon? Well, I thought we could teach old King Cole how to play Keep the Balloon Up in the Air. It's my favourite game, and whenever I play... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot to tie the knot. <laughs> Ben, I think we better start cooking. You're right, little cook. Off we go. We're all ready, so take a look, and we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. Cook, and he is small Friends in our cafe We cook for them all When your tummy Gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat You can make something Delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? 
Yes? Have you washed your hands? Yes! All, All clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Munchy Crunchy Carrot? You do? There was onion. One finely chopped. Carrot. One medium sized. Chopped. Celery. One stick. Chopped. And the leafy bit is for the decoration. Water. One litre. Vegetable stock cubes. One. Olive oil. Two tablespoons. And rice. 125 grams. We're using basmati rice. Whoopee! Let's get started! I've heated one tablespoon of the oil in a frying pan. Now this is a job for your grown-up helper to do because it's a hob job. And remember, the hob is hot, hot, hot. When the oil is nice and hot, add the onion and cook it until it's nice and soft. Mmm! It's the smell of onion cooking again! Whoopee! Now I'm still trying to think of a game we can play at Old King Cole's party. Mmm, so am I. Oh, I know, I know! Musical chairs! When the music starts, you have to dance all around the chairs. And when the music stops, you have to sit on the nearest chair. But if you can't find a chair to sit on, it means you're out! <laughs> But kings don't usually sit on ordinary chairs, they sit on thrones. Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Thinking up a party game for the king is more difficult than I thought. Now I've made a litre of vegetable stock by putting the stock cube into the boiling water. And I'm just giving it a final stir to get rid of all the lumps. There we go. Our onions are nice and soft now, so I'm going to pour the stock in. In it goes. And then add the rice. Bring it back to the boil. It'll take about 20 minutes to cook, so keep stirring it until all the water has been soaked up by the rice. This is ready now, so I'm going to take it off the heat, pop it down there, and then ask your grown-up helper to put the rest of the oil into another frying pan and heat it up. Then I'm going to fry the chopped celery and the chopped carrots. Don't add the leafy bit of the celery, because we'll need that later. Mmm, the sizzling now. I like the word sizzle, because it sounds like it's sizzling. Sizzle. <laughs> yes, it does, doesn't it? I've never thought of it like that before. Sizzle. Hoo -hoo. Keep the celery and the carrots sizzling away until they go soft. That's looking good. It smells good too. Oh yes, it does smell delicious, doesn't it, Small? Right, now it's time to mix the carroty mixture with the rice. So, I'm going to pour that in there. There we go. And then bring this over to the heat. Give it a stir around. We still haven't thought of a party game. Does that mean we're not allowed to go to Old King Cole's party? Well, not unless we think of something quick, Small. You keep thinking, and I'll finish our munchy crunchy carrot. OK. Hmm. It's cooked now, so our munchy crunchy carrot is almost ready. We just need to spoon the mixture onto a plate and then mould it into a carrot shape. That's a good carroty shape, Ben, but it would look even better if you put the celery leaves on top. Ah, yes. Here we go. In there. And there. Oh, great. It looks just like a real carrot. 
That looks delicious. Let's get it through to Daphne the donkey while it's still hot. Uh, Small, weren't you supposed to be thinking up a party game for us? You haven't forgotten, have you? Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> OK, one munchy crunchy carrot coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben and my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bob, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients well put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Well, we're all dressed up for the party. But we still haven't thought of a game to play. Don't worry, Ben. We'll just have to keep on thinking. And look! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes! It looks like Daphne enjoyed her munchy, crunchy carrot. Look, Small. She's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? <laughs> Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small. My munchy crunchy carrot was scrumptious! Woohoo! I heard you were having some trouble thinking of a game to play at Old King Cole's party. To say thank you, I've made you the perfect game. Stick the tail on the donkey. Have fun from Daphne the donkey. Small, look at this! Oh, oh, oh. She's given us the perfect game. Whee! Whoopee! Stick the tail on the donkey! That's brilliant! Come on then, Small, let's give it a try. I'll put the blindfold on. OK, I remember this one. Now, first of all, you have to start spinning. OK, I'm spinning, Small. Now stop and stick the tail on the donkey. I've done it. I've done it, Small. Oh, where's the tail? I thought I'd stuck it on the donkey. It's stuck on me. Uh -oh, uh -oh. <laughs> now I've got a top hat and tail. <laughs> <laughs> I think I need to practice. Come on, Ben. Let's go to the palace for the party. Hey, hey see you soon. See you soon. Big cook, little cook. We'll cook for everyone. Oh, hello. Welcome to our cafe. The best cafe in the world. <laughs> I'm just giving our cactus plants a little drink. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> you have to be very careful with cactus plants as they're very prickly. And lots of cactus plants grow in the desert where it's very, very hot. Phew! A great big sun, no clouds in the sky. No one about except my cactus and I. <laughs> and me. <laughs> I'm here too, partner. Hello, everyone. What are you doing, Ben? Ho oh, ho! I'm a cowboy, Small. Cowboys sometimes ride around in the desert. Do they? Oh, yes, partner. Why do you keep calling me partner? <laughs> cowboys do that too, Small. They say, uh, how you doing, partner? And pass the beans, partner. And things like that. Oh, I want to be a cowboy too. Can I be a cowboy? Partner? You surely can, partner. Just hop on your horse. Like this, and ride around like me. Yeehaw! Yippee aye, -yay, yippee aye, -yay. woohoo! <laughs> Why have you stopped? Cowboy hat small. We can't be proper cowboys unless we've got cowboy hats. You're right, Ben. <laughs> oh, we can't worry about that now, small. Sounds like we've got a customer. I'm on my way, partner. Who's our customer today, partner? She's got a check shirt, jeans, and a horse outside. <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's Casey the cowgirl. 
Well done, Ben. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. I was at the big cowboy show with my friend Casey the cowgirl and her horse Star. She was going to enter a competition to round up some buffalo. We were really excited. But then something happened. Oh dear! One of Star's shoes has fallen off. I can't let Star enter the competition without his horseshoe. Then I had an idea. Come with me. And we hurried off to see my friend the blacksmith. A blacksmith is someone who fits iron shoes on horses' hooves to stop their feet getting hurt. Don't worry, Casey, he said. I'll make a new one. Soon he had the fire going and was hammering away until he'd made a lovely shiny new horseshoe. We had to stand in a safe place as the fire was hot, hot, hot. <laughs> the blacksmith soon fitted the new horseshoe, but we didn't know what to do with the old one. Then I had a brilliant idea. Horseshoes are supposed to bring good luck. So I fixed the old one to Star's saddle. Casey was really pleased. Then off we went to the competition. We were just in time. Yee! yelled Casey and Star ran like the wind. I really had to hang on. Casey was so good at rounding up the buffalo that she won the competition. Whoopee! That horseshoe really must have been lucky. <laughs> Three cheers for Casey, yelled the judges and they gave her a prize, a lovely Star badge to wear on her hat. And three cheers for Star, the fastest horse in the West. And don't forget, three cheers for Little Cook Small and his lucky horseshoe. Little Cook to the rescue once again. <laughs> that was a great adventure. Wow, fancy rounding up all those buffalo. Casey is a clever cowgirl. Way! And Star's a very fast horse. And the lucky horseshoe was a great idea too. I wish we had that lucky horseshoe right now. Why? because it might help us think of what to cook for Casey. Hmm. Ooh. <sighs> I know Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Here we are. Star Bean Burger. Made with buffalo cheese. Ooh. Just the thing after a hard day herding buffaloes, partner. <laughs> Yeehaw, partner. Ho oh, ho, perfect. Come on then, little cook. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need onion. Onion, over we go. Got the onion small. Garlic. Garlic, yep, that's here as well. Got it. Carrot. Over here, yep, carrots. Kidney beans. Kidney beans, got those, yep. Curry powder. In the cupboard as well. Lovely curry powder. Yep. Oil. Here we go. Got the oil small. Flour. Oh, that's here as well. In the cupboard. Got the flour. Yep. Cherry tomatoes. Lovely red juicy cherry tomatoes. Got them. And buffalo mozzarella cheese. Eh? Buffalo Ooh. mozzarella cheese. Well, here we are. There's everything else for the recipe. Now, I've heard of buffaloes. And I've heard of cheese, but I've never heard of buffalo mozzarella cheese. Well, why don't I whiz off and get some and find out how it's made? I think you better add, little cook, and I'll get everything ready. See you later. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoop! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, this is beautiful. Hello there. Look at those horns. 
These animals are called buffaloes. And they're off to the milking parlour to be milked. This is the milking parlour. And this is the farmer. He's attaching some suction pipes to the buffalo's udders. The milk is sucked from the buffalo and collected. It's going to be used to make a cheese called mozzarella. The farmer adds an ingredient that turns the milk into curds and whey. Look! The milk has turned into curds and whey. The whey is the runny stuff and we don't need that. The curd is the lumpy bits. We use the curd to make the cheese. <laughs> Look at the curd! It's turned all stringy and stretchy. The curd has turned into cheese. It's a soft white cheese. It's called mozzarella. The cheese is divided into small ball-shaped pieces and stored in some water until it's packed. Now the cheese is packed and weighed and ready to go to the shops. That was great! See you later! Hey, steady there, boy! <laughs> Yee-haw! Hey, I'm back! Hello there, Small. Did you get the cheese? Oh, yes, and here it is. <coughs> Woo! Hey, that's great! Buffalo cheese is made from buffalo's milk, and buffaloes are really big with big horns. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> that sounds great, little cook, but we better get cooking. We're all ready, so take a look, and we will show you how to cook. The jelly boats and pirates go, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook. And he is small Friends in our cafe We cook for them all When your tummy Gets all rumbly You're ready for a treat You can make something Delicious to eat Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes! Have you washed your hands? Yes! All, all clean, clean and, and ready, ready to cook! cook. Do you remember the ingredients to Star Bean Burger? You do? There was onion. One. Chopped. Garlic. One clove. Chopped. Carrot. One. Finely grated. Kidney beans. 225 gram tin. Drained. Curry powder. One teaspoon. Oil. Two tablespoons. Flour. Two tablespoons. Cherry tomatoes. One. Cut in half. And buffalo mozzarella cheese. Two slices. Whoopee! Let's get started! I'm going to turn on the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark 6. And that's a job for your grown-up helper to do, because remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. Now we can start on our bean burgers. So the first thing we need to do is mash up the kidney beans. You can do that for me, Small, while I fry the onions. Whey! Mashing, smashing! You can mash with a masher or a fork. I'm going to use a fork. Woohoo! Mash, mash, mash! Hey, hey, smashing, mashing small! Woohoo! Now I've started to heat the oil in a frying pan and I'm going to add the onions and the garlic and fry them for a couple of minutes. And this is another grown up helper job. Are those beans ready yet, small? Yep, partner! Hey, hey, thank you, partner. Wow, a very good job. Woohoo! Mmm, the smell of frying onions. It makes me think about being a cowboy, sitting around the campfire, and waiting for my dinner. Into the pan goes the carrots, the mashed up bean. Oh, quite sticky. Let's get it all in. There we are. 
the curry powder and the flour. And give it all a good old stir. Stir and stir and stir! Until it's all mixed up together. Now we have to let this cool down before the next bit, so pop it there, turn off the heat, and now I'm going to make a cowboy hat. Hey! So to do this, you need a plain piece of paper or card. Fold it in half, like this, and then draw the shape of half a cowboy hat, like this. I wish I had a cowboy hat. Oh, me too, small. Now, we can cut out the shape. Yee-haw! We go and open it. That's brilliant! A proper cowboy's hat. But you can't wear it. No, 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 small. This is for the recipe. And just to finish it off, I'm going to draw a band across it, like this. There we go. And then I can pop it on a plate, ready for a star bean burger. Hey, I've had an idea. <laughs> what are you up to, Small? <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. <laughs> The mixture's cooled down now, so we can carry on with the recipe. I've placed a star-shaped cutter onto a greased baking tray, and I'm going to spoon in the mixture. Like this, until the star is full. Perfect! yee <laughs> Carefully press down with a spoon, and then we can gently remove the cutter. There! A star! Now we need to pop it into the oven for 10 minutes. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. On there, open it up, and pop it in. And remember, that's a job for your grown-up helper to do, because the oven is hot, hot, hot. I'll set the timer for ten minutes. There we go. Oh, it smells lovely. Yee-ha! Do you like my head, Ben? It's great, Small. <laughs> Right, now, ask your grown-up helper to put two slices of buffalo mozzarella cheese onto your bean burger. But you can use any cheese you like. Like this. And then pop it back into the oven until the cheese has melted. So, oven gloves on. And back into the oven it goes. Yeah! I'm a cowboy in a cowboy calf. Woo! -hoo! Oh, you're a good cowboy, Small. I wish I had a hat. I'll make you one, Ben, whilst the cheese melts. The cheese has melted now, and I've placed the bean burger onto the cowboy hat. And just to finish it off, I'm going to put half of the cherry tomato on there, like that. And there we have it. One cowboy hat with a cowboy badge. Hey! How's my hat coming along, Small? It's ready, Ben. Here you are. Oh, thanks, Small. <laughs> I think it's a bit too tiny for me, little cook. <laughs> oh, I so wanted my very own cowboy hat. But never mind. We better get this through to Casey. One star bean burger coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, 
wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha, here comes the plate. Oh, yes. And it looks like Casey enjoyed her star bean burger. Look, Small. She's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, My star bean burger was delicious. <laughs> yee -ha! To say thank you, here's my cowboy hat for Ben. I oh. hope it fits. From Casey the Cowgirl. Wow, Small! Look! Ho oh, ho! It's my very own cowboy hat! Yeehaw! Let's hit the trails, partners! Ho oh, ho! See you soon, partners! See you soon, partners! Yeehaw! 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 Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone! Clean, 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 clean. Ooh! Hey, hey. Oh! Hello! Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. I'm just doing the cleaning. Woo! Woohoo! The counter gets a good polishing and I get to go skating. Way! Yes, okay then. See you tomorrow. Oh, oh, small. Small. What is it, Ben? I've got a problem. Oh. You know my mum and dad are coming to stay with me tomorrow. Oh, yes. Well, they've just rung to say they're going to bring my Uncle Len and my Auntie Jen, my cousin Den and his wife, Pen. But I haven't got enough beds for them. Where are they all going to sleep? Well, I'd love to help, Ben, but I think my egg cup's going to be a little bit too small <laughs> for them. <Yes. laughs> well, we'll have to worry about that later, Ben. We've got a customer. It's cooking time. Woohoo! <sighs> Who is it today, Small? Well, that's a surprise. She's wearing a crown and a beautiful dress. I'm not sure who that could be. Do you know? It's a princess! A princess? In our cafe? Yes! Quick, Small, we better find her something to eat. You can't keep a princess waiting. You know, I think I know this princess. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. There was once a princess who fell in love with a prince. They wanted to get married, but first the prince's family had to make sure that she was a real princess. So the prince's mother, the queen, put a tiny pea on the princess's bed, and on top of the pea, she put 20 mattresses, and on top of the mattresses, she put 20 duvets. And the princess had to go to bed on top of all that. The next day, the Queen asked her how she'd slept, and the Princess said, Oh, very badly. There was a big lump in my bed. I haven't slept a wink. When she heard this, the Queen knew that only a Princess could have skin soft enough to feel a tiny pea through all those mattresses. And so the Prince and Princess were married, and lived happily ever after. Well, almost because sleeping on all those mattresses and duvets was giving the princess a few problems. First, it was taking her ages to climb into bed each night. Second, she kept bumping her head on the ceiling. And third, if she rolled over and fell out of bed, she had a long, long way to fall. 
But the princess had to sleep on all those mattresses and duvets, because otherwise she could fill every tiny lump in the bed. Then I had a brilliant idea. I took her a special bed called a hammock, a big comfy net. Now the princess didn't need to worry about any lumps and bumps. She loved her new bed and she slept like a dream. Little Cook Small to the rescue once again! That was a great adventure. Oh, well done, Small. The hammock was a great idea. Woohoo! Oh, thanks, Ben. But now we need another great idea. We need to cook a meal fit for a princess. Oh, yes, there's a princess in our cafe. Oh, <gasps> we could. Can... I know, Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Oh, small. Look at this. Princess Pie. Woohoo! Well, would you believe it, Ben? A bed for a princess with a soft pea mattress. Oh, she'll love this. You read out the ingredients, Small, and I'll go and see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need one packet of short crust pastry. Short crust pastry in the fridge. Here we are. Yes, got that. Short crust pastry. Then we're going to need some peas. Peas? Um, I'm not too sure about the peas, Small. Double cream. Double cream, yes, got that. Definitely double cream. Eggs. Two eggs. One and a two. And mint. Mint. Oh, yes, mint. Got that as well. Oh, is that everything? What about the peas, Ben? Oh, I don't think we've got any peas, Small. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll whiz off and get some. Oh, yeah, and I'll get all the ingredients ready while you're away. Great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoa! Whoa! Go, Small! Go, Small! Whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Hey, hey! I've come to the right place here. That's a big red machine. It's collecting all the peas. There they are. The peas live inside those long green pods. What's that machine doing? It's sucking up all the peas. In they go. The peas are being taken out of their pods. Oh, look! There's three harvesters. One, two, three. And the one at the front has an orange flashing light. That means it's full of peas. And here's the tractor to collect them. Look at all those peas! Off they go. I wonder where they're going. Let's find out. There they are again. I've never seen so many peas. I bet the princess in my adventure wouldn't like all those peas under her mattress. Up, up and away! Wow, that machine's big. It's washing all the peas. Can you see the steam? Round and round. Here they come. Lovely, clean, round, juicy peas. Boing, 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 boing. The peas have now been frozen. And what are they doing? They're checking the peas and taking out any bad ones. It's very noisy in here. That lady's even wearing earmuffs. They'll keep out the noise. Where are they going? They're weighing them ready for packing. Each bag has the same number of peas in it. And there's the bags. Full of peas and ready to go to the shops. I've got mine. See you later. I'm back, Ben! Oh, no, I see. 
Well, of course, they must come with you. Yes, that, that'll be fine. <laughs> OK, then. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh. What now, Ben? That was my cousin Den on the phone. He wants to bring his children with him tomorrow. So now I've got my mum, my dad, my uncle Len and my auntie Jen, my cousin Den and his wife Pen, and their children, Ken, Glenn, Brent and Sven. Where are they all going to sleep small? Mm. Well, Ben, we'll have to worry about that later. Oh. It's time to start cooking. Oh, yes. There's a princess in our cafe. I'd completely forgot. Ooh. Did you get the peas small? Certainly did. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> wow. It was brilliant. I saw this huge machine picking and podding the peas, and then the peas were taken to a factory where they were... Frozen. <laughs> so now the peas are lovely and fresh. Oh, yes. Sounds like we're all ready to cook, Small. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies. Carrot cakes and fruity smiles. And envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. He is big cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, All clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. While you were away, Small, I've set the oven to 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark six. I've also chopped up the mint. Oh, smells lovely. And here, I've rolled out all the pastry, ready to go. Do you remember the ingredients for Princess Pie? You do? Let's see, then. There was short crust pastry, one packet, all rolled out, peas, one cupful, double cream, three tablespoons full, eggs, two, and mint. Mint, dried or fresh. All chopped up and ready to go. Whoopee! Let's get started. OK. Right, let's get the pastry ready. Now, I've cut the pastry into four slices, like that. Now, I'm going to tidy up the edges. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. There we are. And small, can you use these leftover pieces to make little pillows for the beds? Okie dokie. Good catch, small. Now put the pastry pieces onto a greased baking tray. And then fold up the edges like this, to make little walls. There. How's it going, Small? Here we are, Big Cook Ben. Put it on the bed. Oh, yes, little cook. That looks great. On it goes. A little pillow. Ooh, that looks really comfy. I've already put some water on to boil. Make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you. I'm putting the peas in to cook. There we are. And put the lid on, because they don't take long. All the beds are ready, Ben. Oh, they look great. Right, now I'm going to brush the egg all over the edges of the pastry. And the pillows. Mmm, yummy. I do love this recipe. It's time to mix the other egg. The cream. And the mint. All together in a mixing bowl. What about the peas, Ben? Oh, yes, Small. Oh, yes. Looks like the peas are ready. You don't need to leave the peas to cook for too long. They should still be bright green. And make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this next bit for you. Drain the peas through a colander. In they go. And now, 
we add them to the rest of our mixture. Oh, yes. And mash them up. Give them a good squish. There we go. Mash till they're squashy. Mash till they're mushy, mushy. Back to the mash. Mash back to the mushy. Oh, yes. La, la, la. Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! Watch it, Ben! Small? How did you manage to get so messy? It wasn't me. It was... Oh, never mind. What's next? All we have to do now is spoon in the mixture onto the beds. There we go, just like that. The pastry walls should stop the mixture from running everywhere. That looks great! <sighs> I'd better go and get cleaned up. <laughs> there. That's the last one done. Right. Put the tray in the oven. Now make sure you get your grown-up helper to do this bit for you because the oven is hot, hot, hot. In they go. And they need to cook for 30 minutes. Hang on, I'm ready now. I'll set the timer. For 30 minutes. There we go. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet, Small. Time to clean up and put away. Hooray! <laughs> Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our job Ingredients well put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town What great timing! The princess pies are ready! Ha ha! Let's see how they look, shall we? Mmm, yummy! Oh, they look great! Let's get them over here, shall we? They look really nice! Mmm, they smell delicious! Right, pop one of them onto a plate. There we go. And let's get them into that princess. She must be really hungry by now. Over we go. Your Royal Highness. Your Royal Highness. Oh. 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 Hello? Yes? All right. Okay, then. Bye. Let me guess. You've got another visitor. Yes. My cousin children want to bring their dog as well. <gasps> so now tomorrow I've got coming my mum, my dad, my uncle Len, my auntie Jen, my cousin Bren and his wife Pen, and their children Ken, Glenn, Bren and Sven, and their dog <gasps> Rover. Where are they all going to sleep, Small? Oh look, a lovely clean plate. Oh yeah. It looks like our princess enjoyed the princess pie bed. And she's left us a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see. It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small. <gasps> we were most pleased with the princess pie bed. It was delicious. By the way, as we now sleep in a, in a hammock every night, we have no need for the 20 mattresses and 20 duvets at the palace. So we wondered if you might find them useful. Brilliant! What a lovely note. And look, now I've got 20 mattresses and 20 duvets and enough room for anyone who wants to come and stay. You've only got one more thing to worry about, Ben. Oh, what's that? What are you going to feed them all? <laughs> oh, yes, I know. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon.